At this time, I would invite Miss Tripp and the members of the Glee Club to sing the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and graduates. My name is Dave Sainamore, and I'm the Vice Principal at Confederation. I'll be your Master of Ceremonies for this evening of celebration at Confederation's 49th Annual Convocation. We do have a large graduating class this year, and it's nice to see so many uh, people come to help uh, celebrate the graduation with them. A couple of housekeeping items. Just to remind you that emergency exits, if they are needed, are to the back left and right corners of the gymnasium, and washrooms are through the cafeteria across the hallway if you need to use those. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our stage guests. On my far left, we are honored to have with us Rainbow District School Board Director, Mr. Norm Blasick. <laughs> Seated next to him is our Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Kathy Washnuck. <laughs> the Confederation Principal, Mr. Pablo Gillafell. On my far right, we have Confederation School Council Chairperson, Ms. Dawn Graham. And finally, Rainbow District School Board Trustee, Ms. Judy Cosmerly. I would like to also welcome Ms. Debbie Plain McGregor, who is here on behalf of Wanapate First Nation to take in the celebration and honor our First Nation, Métis, and Inuit students who are graduating today. I think you need to come see this. What is it? It's kind of hard to explain. You need to see it for yourself. To extend greetings from the board. Thank you, Mr. Sainamore. Graduates, parents, guardians, family, friends, honored guests, teachers, and staff. I am very pleased to bring greetings on behalf of Rainbow District School Board on this very special night. I would like to share a quote with you from Mahatma Gandhi. It is, be the change you wish to see in the world. Graduates, in your journey through elementary school and high school, the teachers and staff of Rainbow Schools, along with your families, have supported you to be agents of positive change. In your elementary school years, you learned and practiced the character traits of the month. These traits reflected the values that our board holds as important, things like respect, integrity, cooperation, courtesy, and acceptance. Here at Confederation Secondary School, 
You continued to grow as agents for positive change. You may have done this by being on one of the school's award-winning athletic teams, such as the girls' volleyball and soccer teams, the wrestling team and the gymnastics team, bringing recognition and honor to the school. You may have done it by excelling in academics, being on the honor roll, taking part in mock trials, or demonstrating your skills and abilities in cross-school competitions, such as the Technological Skills Challenge. You may have done it by being part of the Evolutionary Band, not only as a band member or stage crew, but as a strong voice against bullying and against drinking and driving. Alternatively, you may have been an agent for positive change in a less formal way, by helping another student understand a challenging homework assignment by spending time with someone who was lonely or just needed someone to talk to, by being respectful to all students and teachers, or by offering praise to a fellow student when they overcame fear or had a personal success. However you did it, you had an impact on the school. Tonight, we celebrate your accomplishments. Be proud of your successes and of the positive changes you have made at Confederation and in your community. And wherever your journey takes you next, remember that it only takes one person to bring about change and be the change you wish to see in the world. Thank you, Ms. Cosmoly. I now ask Mr. Pablo Gillifield, the principal, to deliver his message to this year's graduating class. Thank you, Mr. Sainamore. Good evening, parents, friends, special guests, distinguished alumni, and most importantly, the 49th graduating class of Confederation Secondary School, the class of 2016. It has been 28 years since I graduated from high school. I often reflect fondly on my experiences back then, at this point of the year, when I'm thinking about each year's graduating class. This year, I'm particularly connected with the parents of this graduating class, as my son will cross the stage tonight along with their children. While I live in the conflict of the present in realizing I'll be letting my son make life decisions on his own and hoping for the best for him, I am reassured about the future and how he and these young minds will shape it. Looking back over the years, I have listened to speeches that encouraged graduating students to seek a deeper commitment to impacting their community, their province, or their nation of Canada itself. In watching this generation, I have succumbed to the notion of a global state of evolution where boundaries of today are set by the universe. Today you will interact with a world that gives you tremendous freedoms in society, having more opportunities and choices in every aspect of your lives than anyone has had in years prior. Pierre Trudeau, former Prime Minister of Canada, once said, our hopes are high, our faith in the people is great, our courage is strong, and our dreams for this beautiful country will never die. I believe this still rings true, not only for Canada, but as, as far as our graduates want to reach, be it the globe or beyond. As you move forward, your thought process will become more fixated on a career path. Increasingly, I find that careers do not unfold in a particular fashion due to the complex and constantly changing world in which we live. Mark my words, graduates, change will be an inevitable reality in your future. With this in mind, it has never been more crucial for your generation to be open to take risks and to persevere after a failure. Our world is facing massive challenges and we are counting on your perseverance and leadership to overcome them. Desmond Morton, a Canadian historian, historian rather, was once noted for saying, Canadians, like their historians, have spent too much time remembering conflicts, crises, and failures. They forgot the great, quiet continuity of a life in a vast and generous land. A cautious people learns from its past. A sensible people can face its future. Canadians, on the whole, are both. 
I encourage you all to learn from the past, but do not dwell in it. For you have the majority of your lives in front of you. Most of you will be working in some form of paying job over the next 40 years. Which, for us Canadians, is half of our lifetime. Considering this, be sure to choose your career path wisely. 40 years is a long time. You should strive to find something that you love to do. I always tell people that I live a fortunate life. I have a happy and healthy family and a career that I love. My career gives me the opportunity to work with young people and help create an environment in which they are able to grow and find their passions that they wish to pursue in life. I've never regretted my career choice and today is another example of why I love my job. I will have the rare pleasure of shaking the hand of my son as he crosses the stage as well as the many fine young graduates who have helped him become the man he is today. I have been fortunate to be your principal over the course of your secondary careers and I have been impressed with your character and the growth that you have helped the school achieve over these years. In the words of Lester B. Pearson, another former Prime Minister, we live together in confidence and cohesion with more faith and pride in ourselves and less self-doubt and hesitation. Strong in the conviction that the destiny of Canada is to unite, not divide, sharing in cooperation, not separation or in conflict, respecting our past and welcoming our future. Your future is upon you, and I have faith that you will represent us well in your endeavors. I'm excited to learn of your accomplishments over the next few years and to see how you will indeed impact the world around you. Congratulations and good luck to you, the graduating class of 2016.